Hi, it's Eamon here in the west of Ireland, and I'm wearing the Iron Maiden Brave New World t-shirt, which can only mean one thing, it's time for an Iron Maiden Brave New World guitar tutorial. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I've been asked to do this video specifically from one of my subscribers, uh, Mark Chili Pepper, if that's his real name, has asked me to do a tutorial of the guitar solo for The Wicker Man. Uh, the Wicker Man's one of the uh, uh, better tracks off Brave New World and it's got a really great guitar solo. Um, it's an Adrian Smith guitar solo, so uh, lots of uh, little intricate bits and pieces going on. And um, I'll try and take you through it as best I can. So, here goes. Okay, so uh, I'm going to play the solo at a slower speed, uh, and then I'll do it at, uh, at the correct speed, and hopefully um, you'll be able to get what I'm playing from that. Um, I'm going to use a little metronome here to slow it down, it's just so I can sync it up with the video that'll be appearing up here in the corner, which is a close-up of what my fingers are doing. So the first part of the solo is actually repeated later on in the song, uh, towards the end of the solo as well, which you'll probably know if you've uh, attempted to play this solo before. Um, it starts off on your A and D string, and you're playing from the seventh, the seventh, eighth, sorry, the seventh, ninth, and tenth frets, um, and it's just a little lick on those two strings on those uh, those uh, frets. <laughs> So at the correct speed, it sounds like this. Um, that's the, uh, the first part of it. The next part is picked on your high E string. Um, now it's just a little, it's a fairly simple little lick. It's just getting the, the, pick, the, open, the open string picks in between. picks the E twice, twice again, and finally three times. When you put them together, it sounds like this. So that riff is played twice. Uh, it's identical, only the second time you leave out the very first note there. So played at the correct speed it'll sound like this. Okay, the next part of the solo is uh, contains some of the easier parts. Um, it's quite bluesy in places. It's just getting around the tricky little bit at the start with the, uh, the hammer-ons and pull-offs. It's that little bit there that's important is your hammer-on and then your open B. <laughs> That's followed up by the bluesy lick that I was on, on about. <laughs> when I play that phrase all together uh, with the metronome, uh, it sounds like this. Okay, the next bit is um, the one that's probably the most confusing. Um, over the years, Adrian Smith has played it lots of different ways. Um, people refer to it as the neoclassical part. Uh, I was trying to learn this solo years ago and I could never get it because I couldn't hear what he was playing. Um, and he has changed it lots over the years. So what I'm playing is a little lick um, that I've seen him use. Um, and it's actually... 
Uh, I've actually stolen it from the Bruce Dickinson uh, solo track Road to Hell that he played on. On the original uh, studio recording it sounds something like... It, it's something around that, but using the little Road to Hell motif which is really nice. What he's doing is hammering on on his B string. And he's picking on his uh, E string. So the first bit you're on the second fret on your E string. And hammering on your fourth. That's then slid up one fret. Slide it up two frets. And finally, you finish off um, on your seventh fret, hammering on on your eighth. So finally then, the last, the last part of the solo before we repeat the first phrase is a little bit of uh, fancy fretwork around the 15th, 15th, 17th and 18th fret um, which sounds brilliant. Again, it's quite difficult to hear it on the recording but uh, a little bit of perseverance uh, and I finally got it. Um, so I'll, just, I'll play it here uh, at speed and then I'll do it again with the metronome so you can see what I've been doing. There's actually not a lot of picking in that phrase. Um, if I play it now at speed, if you just keep an eye on my right hand, you'll see I'm only actually picking it maybe four or five times. Finally, you just repeat the first phrase uh, that I showed you at the start of the video. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do it again, uh, just rewind a bit, about, I don't know, two minutes or something. So that's the solo for The Wicker Man. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if there's any other videos I can do for you, and I'll do my best. Uh, in the meantime, uh, here's that solo at full speed with me in the corner again. Okay. Mm -hmm.